to. I'm gonna do it. What have you done? <gasps> you said I could. You said I could. He had a family. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Yep, cease fire by hold your fire. Let's go ahead and take a look at that map info real quick here. So the map ID you'd be looking for if you want to play cease fire would be GCBQWXNR. Uh, and so got some of the most interesting custom tags I've ever seen. Let's see, we got Easter eggs, come on, Brad, uh, build like hell, story mission, day at the office. And... Again, we're going to go ahead and look at that author profile real quick. Hold Your Fire, <laughs> which is an interesting name for somebody uh, playing uh, Doom. Uh, playing Doom here is Hold Your Fire. That's, you know, I, I imagine that that probably works out well in, in multiplayer. You know. Uh, okay, so here's what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, play this map now. Slow down with that trigger finger. This is Bill. He's a zombie. A zombie with a wife and two children. And a mortgage. Yeah, today we will learn how to not shoot Bill. <laughs> Let's begin. Alright, so here I am, not shooting Bill. Not shooting Bill. Well done. Alright. Say goodbye to Bill. Don't worry, he'll be back later. Welcome to the UAC's biannual, federally mandated ceasefire seminar. <laughs> Today's workshop will train you on how to be a more productive and less homicidal member of the UAC community. Let's begin by shooting on over to R&D department, shall we? <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, here we are. Oh, yep, security checkpoint. Hi guys. What's up? How's how's it going? What, what's on your <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, he's got a little little cheat code there on his on his screen. Hey, are, you, are you playing you playing old Doom over there? Is that what you're doing on your computer instead of working? All right, science. <laughs> did you know the first cavemen were actually scientists? I did not. That's an interesting fact. Say hello to Paul, Doug, and Samuel, three of our best and brightest. Is that Paul? You say you just had a baby? <gasps> oh, I want to see the little baby demon. I want to see the baby demon. Congratulations. Say, friend, why not congratulate Paul with a friendly pat on the back? Not too hard now. We wouldn't want to hurt anyone. <laughs> Love tap. <laughs> Duke. <laughs> Looks like someone just made a friend. <laughs> Congratulations on the baby, you blinking bastard. Oh, hey, look. Another cheat code. Cool. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Cubicles. <laughs> ah. You may be wondering why we've equipped you with a weapon. The thought had crossed my mind, yes. After all, isn't this seminar supposed to be nonviolent? Maybe. You see, our workshop planner's Innovation Development Industries. Or ID for short. <laughs> and their partners, Better Education to Hasten Evolve Standards Do Achieve. Bethesda. <laughs> See, I, I got it on the first try. Felt that forcing you to come to the workplace unarmed was un-American. <laughs> Would simply rob you of what at USC we call free will. But what is free will? Oh, it's I have not had enough coffee to answer philosophical questions at a seminar. To find out, let's ask our old friend Bill. Oh good, he's going to answer it for me. <laughs> UAC, where the C stands for caring. And corporation. <laughs> Hello, demon head. Please dispose of waste properly. We all know it's you, Brad. You jerk, Brad. Where's Brad? Which one of you is Brad? Uh -huh. Brad Conway, please see Deborah in Human Resources by 1,500 hours today. Gotta stop avoiding her, Brad. He's leaving really specific little like notes for Brad here. That's great. And... Due to budgetary restraints, snack prices have been increased by 120%. <laughs> he doesn't seem happy about that, does he? 
I think we called him Gerald on the last playthrough, so you'll still be Gerald. Yeah, fat bastard. All right, let's go ask Bill a philosophical question. Hi, Bill. To demonstrate the importance of free will, Bill here is going to give you a choice. You can shoot him or not shoot him. Here's some ammo. That's a lot of ammo. Okay, so during my last playthrough, we shot him. You won't even be in trouble. Go on, just this once. <laughs> yeah, I'm not falling for that. Last time, I, I game overed with a cute thing calling me the monster. Wow, great job. Yeah, I did the right thing. Looks like someone's already got some experience in not killing things. I'm learning. All right, into the armory. Yeah, this is where we want to go to not kill things, right? Union Aerospace. Today. Okay, I'm hearing some hissing. Sorry about testing like that. But pursuing scientific endeavors takes discipline. But scientific endeavors would be nothing without highly lethal assault weaponry. Go on, there's no harm in looking around. Use your free will and find the best weapon to suit your needs. When signing for new firearm, please use full name or employee ID number. Now, one thing I do have to point out here is, like, if you've ever tried to use the, the decal system to put letters on things, that is a lot, I mean, like, so far we've seen three chalkboards, and that is a lot of little tiny decals to have to sit there and stick. So, uh, I, I appreciate the hard work that went into these, like, little details. And that's, that's obviously a custom geo object that was built. And that's cool. Somebody put some real work into this this fun little joke map. And I respect that. Okay, so we've got a chain gun. Uh, a still saying chain gun, but I'm pretty sure that's a vortex rifle. Uh, Goss cannon. Okay, so again, it's sort of... I think the weapons are a little too close to one another. The hell shot. Okay, so... Yeah, super shotgun... Alright, I'll take the super shotgun. I like the super shotgun, and it likes me. So do I only get the one... Oh no, I get... Okay. Alright, so now what do I do with my super shotgun? Rocket launcher for outdoor use only, unless otherwise authorized by Scott. Scott! I want to use a rocket launcher indoors, please. Scott! Where you at, Scott? Please conserve Hellshot ammunition until further notice. Gotta stop wasting the ammo, Brad. Brad! Get your shit together, Brad. Hello. Hi, Scott. Got a BFG. I have the BFG? Alright. I'll take that BFG. Why not? Thanks, Scott. You're a... You're a heck of a guy, Scott. Wow, aren't you forgetting something? Am I? A bit hard to endeavor in science without a frag grenade, isn't it? Oh, yeah. No, I, I totally agree. I need grenades. Ah, yes. Manual labor. The backbone of our company. Hiya, boys. Hope the boss isn't giving you what fur. Did you know the first cavemen were actually manual laborers? I had guessed. I had guessed that. Yes. Hey guys. Hey guys. What's up? Grenades, danger. This, uh. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that if I launch a grenade at these guys, uh, I'm gonna get a game over. That would be. Do -do -do. <laughs> Speaking of bosses, there he is now. Let's say we pop in and give him the old how do you do. Hi, boss. New applicants must meet with Miss Pierce for psychological evaluation. Alright, well, let's go say hi to the boss first. You, uh, you don't have stairs to your office, boss. What's up with that? Uh-oh, looks like someone lost the Peterson account. Maybe we should just let him get back to work. Sure. Um, let me see. Capitalism! Work makes the man! Synergy! Hang in there, kitty. Money? I hardly know her. More Ovaltine, please! <laughs> Another, uh... <laughs> I love how all the computers have uh, old-school cheat codes on them. That's great. The lovely little, uh, lovely little detail. And 
Mrs. Pierce's office. Whoa! Well then. It'll fire up the butt for anybody who's coming to visit Miss Pierce. My confidence is key. <laughs> My other car is a U-boat. I'm the bad guy. Wow. <laughs> Any vacation? Try hell. Boy, do I love evil. Satan, he's our pal. <laughs> the clip. <laughs> All right. Well, got some more fun stuff over here. All right. H hello, voices. Reception desk phones are not for personal use. All right, let's see if we can find the, the, the ID cheat code. On. Oh, there's not one on any of these. Casual Friday has been canceled to further notice. Brad! Brad again. Sexual harassment isn't a joke, Brad. Brad. Brad ruins everything. Invest in the UAC. Invest in your future's future. Mr. Hayden sure didn't happy, did he? No, he didn't. You see, like everything else in this world, science is a business. And business can be quite stressful. These folks worked on the Peterson account. Looks like they're none too happy. <laughs> Best to leave them alone to work out their differences. The blame game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh jeez, wow, there's another argument going on in there. Kickboxing Club has been cancelled till further notice. What the shit, Brad? Damn it, Brad. Oh my god. <laughs> Human resources! <laughs> like HR is keeping busy today. <laughs> Why, there's Debbie now. Debbie is the head of human resources. <laughs> right now, she's hard at work counseling Mike and Tom. <laughs> oh, that's Debbie. They, too, were mighty sad about that Peterson account. <laughs> when she's not settling office sheets, Debbie's also a terrific cook. <laughs> Isn't that right, Deb? Uh, yeah, I suppose. That's probably why her computer's on fire back there. She's, ha she's cooking up down-home computery stuff. Alright, so... Oh. Oh, there's another cheat code. IDCL. <laughs> That's a cute little Easter egg there that keeps showing up. I like that. Alright. We're stumbling around from you lot. I'll go over here. Oh, hi, Bill! Uh-oh, Brad told Bill the Peterson account was my fault. What? This might be a good time to demonstrate what we've learned today. I suppose that's up to you. Um, so, I'm gonna guess. So what do you say, friend? Whoa! You planning to stand there and let Bill push you around? You fight back. Uh-oh, Bill's been hitting the sauce. The old man will let Bill know why no one gives me the business. Look at all those explosive barrels. It'd be tragic if something were to happen with four Bill around. His fragile state, I don't know if he can handle any accidents. Say, you never thank me for that grenade. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't go to waste. I'm sure Bill would be mighty interested in seeing it. <laughs> Bill was the first employee to be fired for the Peterson account. Well, then what's he still doing here? But after a visit to the old UAC watering hole, he feels like a new man. Did you know the first caveman? <laughs> Angry trunks! <laughs> Oh my goodness. I think that's going to have to be my new motto. Oh. Well, congratulations, friend. You've successfully completed our final test. Outstanding. I think you've earned yourself the rest of the day off. Yeah. Simply open this door and step through the teleporter. Yes, sir. As simple as that. Perhaps even anticlimactic. Teleportation in Random Maze Laboratory. All right, so I have a feeling GLaDOS designed this little test here. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and hit the button for some me time. Sure. Swoop. All right. And some health. Yeah, it's always good when they give you health and armor, huh? That, that says great things are about to happen. All right, looks like uh, important. Please turn off laser grid when finished. Fuck y'all, I do what I want. Brad. 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 
Overly protective laser grid activated. Brad, you're a jerk, Brad. Oh, stupid Brad. Uh, and overly protective laser grid activator deactivator. <laughs> Okay, so oh, got four little uh, POIs saying batteries not included. All right, I guess we head this way then. All right, that's battery number one. All right. Um, more armor. I has the double jumps. All right. Okay, so these are too thin to grab onto, so... Okay, so... My bumfuzzle senses are tingling here. I have a feeling like uh, some some poo-poo is about to go down. I, yeah, I still can't grab that ledge. So... I have a feeling I'm being set up for some poo-poo. Uh, let's see. Um... Uh, some weird little parkour puzzle thing going on here. Okay, that doesn't seem to be the right solution. Is it over here, maybe? Let's see. So, yeah, we've got a weird little parkour puzzle going on, because you know how much fun the first person jumping in this game is. Alright, battery number two. Better hurry! Oh, jeez! Yep. Oh, ah, jeez. <laughs> Guys, oh, screw the Peterson account. Ah. No! If I... And, of course, this, this board has made it pretty clear I am not to shoot at anything. So, and now I'm going faster than normal, too, which is... Not entirely unwelcome, but at the same time, it's making me miss a lot of jumps. Uh, whoa, 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 uh oh, no. Uh oh, this is this is not happy times. The the good times are over. All right, that's core number three. We got one more core to go. Whoop, we're here. All right, um. What? How do I... How am I supposed to get up there? Okay, these ledges I can grab onto. Good. Alright. I gotta head back over here, load them up. Hopefully not get too shot up in the process. And... Okay, still got plenty of health, plenty of armor. back over to the, uh, spend the rest of the, oh, uh, looks like I missed it, whoa, and bloop, Have a nice day. but you did lose the Peterson account, you're fired, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and yeah, to give it the upvotes that it so richly deserves, it's already gotten tons of them, 14,217 upvotes out of nearly 38,000 plays, so I doubt I'm bringing any new exposure to the table here, but this is just funny. This is a fun, fun map, and I'm really glad I got to showcase it for you. So one more time, if you want to check out that map, is GCBQWXNR. Uh, the creator's name is Hold Your Fire. The map's called Ceasefire, and it's absolutely hilarious, and I highly recommend checking it out and making it part of your personal collection.